Hello friends, welcome back in Pharma Study. Please subscribe this channel for more interesting videos. Friends, today we will discuss about what is the digestive system. So let's start now. The digestive system definition. The definition is the system of the organs responsible for getting food into and out of the body and for making use of food to keep body healthy. Also seen in picture, the organ system of the digestive system. And what is the proper definition of the digestive system? The digestive system is a made up of the gastrointestinal tract or GI tract also called the digestive tract. And the liver, pancreas and gallbladder, the GI tract is a series of hollow organs joined in a long twisting tube from mouth to anus. The hollow organs that make up to the GI tract are the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine which includes the rectum and the anus. For uh, food enters the mouth and passes to the anus through the hollow organs of the GI tract. The liver, pancreas and gallbladder are the solid organs of the digestive system. The digestive system helps the body digest food. And now, what is the anatomy of digestive system? So, we will discuss one by one. Organs of digestive systems, mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, liver, pancreas, gallbladder and large intestine. So now we will discuss one by one also seen in picture this is the whole digestive system picture which is seen in like mouth, esophagus and then the liver and then stomach, pancreas also here the duodenum maybe uh, after inside, uh, outside the uh, liver and pancreas this is the colon which is a part of large intestine, the large intestines may be here or the rectum the part of also large intestine or this is called a small intestine and then anus the end of the large intestine called as anus. So now first uh, we will discuss one by one the part of the digestive system. The first part is mouth. Uh, what is the proper definition of mouth? The food begin in its journey through the digestive system is in the mouth also known as the oral cavity. Inside the mouth are many accessories organs that aid in the digestion of food. The tongue, teeth and the salivary glands. Syst um, teeth ch uh, chops food into the small pieces which are mo moistened by saliva before the tongue and other muscles push food into the pharynx. And then next is what is pharynx? Food, mouth, uh, food enter from mouth and then pass into the pharynx. And then the pharynx or throat is a funnel shaped tube connected to the posture, posterior end of the mouth. The pharynx is responsible for passing of message of chewed food, sorry, masses of chewed food from mouth to the esophagus. The pharynx also play an important role in the respiratory system as air from the nasal cavity pass through the pharynx on its way to the larynx and eventually the lungs. Because the pharynx serves two different functions, it contains a flap or tissue known as the epiglottis that acts as a switch to root food to the esophagus and air to the larynx. And then next is esophagus. He, esophagus is a muscular tube connecting the pharynx to the stomach that is a part of the upper gastrointestinal tract or maybe upper GI tract. It carries swallowed mass, massy of chewed food along its length. At the interior, inferior end of the esophagus is a muscular ring called the lower esophageal sphincter or cardiac sphincter. The function of this sphincter is to close to the end of the esophagus and trap food into the stomach. And now, what is the stomach? The stomach is a muscular sac that is located on left side of the abdominal cavity. 
just to the diaphragm as an average person the stomach is about size of their two fists placed next to each other the major organ act as a storage tank for food so that the body has time to digest large meal properly the stomach also contain hydrochloric acid or hcl and digestive enzymes that continue the digestion or food that begin in the mouth and then well, what is small intestine the small intestine is a long thin tube about 1 min 1 inch in a diameter and about 10 feet long that is part of the lower intestinal tract or lower digestive tract it is located just inferior to the stomach and take up the most of space in the abdominal cavity the entire small intestine is coiled like a hose and the inside surface is full of many reds and folds these folds are used to maximize the digestion of food and absorption of nutrients by the time of the foods leave this small intestine around 90% of all nutrients have been extracted from the food that entered it and now what is liver and gallbladder the liver is a roughly triangular accessories organ of the digestive system located to the right of the stomach just inferior to the diaphragm and superior to the small intestine the liver weight about 3 pound and it's the second largest organ in the body the liver, the liver has many different functions in the body but the main function of the liver is in digestion is production of bile and its secretion into the small intestine the gallbladder is a small pear shaped organ located just posterior to the liver the gallbladder is used to store it to store and recycle excess bile from the small intestine so that it can be refused reused for the digestion of the subsequent meal now what is pancreas the pancreas is a large gland located just inferior and posterior to the stomach it is about 6 inch long and shaped like short lumpy snake with it head connected to the duodenum and its tail pointed to the left wall of the abdominal cavity the pancreas secretes digestive enzymes into the small intestine to complete the chemical digestion of food now what is large intestine the large intestine is a long thick tube about 2 1/2 inch in a dia diameter and about 5 feet long it is located just inferior to the stomach and wrapped around the superior and lateral board border of the small intestine the large intestine absorbs water and contains many sim, uh, symbiotic bacteria that aid in the breaking down of the waste to extract some small amount of the nutrients feces in the large intestine exit the body through the anal canal or maybe anus so this is the end thank you for watching this video if, if you want to more about the anatomy of digestive system please uh, write the comment in section box hey thank you